I'll make it more simple for you. I'll take the income distribution, but just the 7 billion people from the poorest to the richest. This is how much oil they consume jointly per year. This is how much coal. This is how much gas. Eh? This is how much nuclear energy they produce. This is bio and hydro, nice ones. Eh? And this, what is coming, it's solar and wind. <laughs> 1%. How much now, the question is, how much does the richest billion use of all this fossil fuel, the richest billion use half of it? What does the second richest billion use? Half of what's rest. The third richest billion, half of what's left. The fourth, now you know how it works in an unjust world. Huh? The one in the front of the line takes half of what's left. Huh? This is the income, this is the distribution of fossil fuel and of carbon dioxide emission. Huh? And, and, and uh, nuke, well, it's over there. Bio and hydro, that's all over, because the poor one can only rely on that. And where is solar and wind? It's there, it's the hollow, hollow of the rich. I don't make joke about solar and wind. Those are the real potentials for the future, no doubt, especially solar. But it's very strange that people think they are so big already. They are really small yet. We haven't even started to tap the enormous potential of this. 